Okay, so this is our house. And this is the road that turns into it. What, that cat? What is it, that cat? What you say? What you say? <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I'm kind of walking up this road. Originally, the road turned and went this direction around our property and went down to here and turned and went back and met back up down here and went on. Well, unfortunately, my husband's mother gave them permission to cut the road through here a long time ago something happened i don't remember what something happened back there and they weren't wasn't able to get through so they started going through her property and then they eventually just asked if they they could just do the road through here so they were given permission to and they were they told her that for her giving up this portion, which I mean, as you can see, it goes directly, I gotta put them garbage cans up, the trash ran today, but it goes directly between our property, which don't mind our mess, we're cleaning this up, we finally got the building set in, it's not done, it's not leveled or anything, but the guy finally got it in, um, eventually, we got one other building that will be coming in that's going to be going right here. And so it'll be just kind of like a L shape there. And then, but anyway, like I said, you can see it just comes right up between. What you doing, Mr. Frick? Hi, Mr. Frick. Hey, Miss KK. Hey, Miss KK. She's getting to go to the vet tomorrow and getting fixed. Oh, Mr. Max. Hey, Mr. Max. And old man Tucker. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, anyway, back in the day, back here all of this was family they were you know older people and quiet people well now everybody has passed away and now the kids are in charge so now where it used to be really quiet back here it has now turned into what is soon to be, this is the end of our property right here. You can see our stake. And it goes across the road. And back down this way. Oh, I wanna show you too. So, this is a sawmill right here that the guy decided to put there and that's a whole nother story as well but uh, uh, it was put there and he was burning he cut all this used to be all trees all pine trees you see those big old pine trees it used to be lined all the way to here with pine trees well he cut them all down and then he's burning everything and he catches our property on fire Uh, this is our, uh, my husband does um, sheet metal, and this was covered with this, one of those industrial strength tarps, and of course that caught on fire, and it, everything was on fire. All of this, you can see, was on fire. Um, it burnt the corner, everything underneath here. It burnt the corner of Whiskey's 
um, lot. And so he's supposed to be in replacing this. He said he's going to get up here not to worry. Oh, and they, and they got mad at me because I called the fire department because I was trying to put it out with a water hose that was ran from way back over yonder at the house. And it was reaching as far as it could. And I'm, I'm supposed to put out the fire that was leaping up these big old pine trees that go, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so as you, but as you can see back in the day, I mean, the houses are far apart. So that house down there and this house and everything behind it back here belong to the same family. And it's been pretty quiet for many, many years. Hi, Miss KK. They just follow me everywhere. <laughs> And I just got noticed yesterday that they're fixing to put a, uh, a trailer right there. And they're going to rent it out. And then they're going to put on the other side of that house right there, they're going to put... Uh, four more houses rental houses so all you know so that in total we're going to have every one of these houses back here are going to be rental property and they're going to be driving right through my house and i just um i've lost my peace and i'm trying to get it back i'm not quite sure how to do it I'm praying every day. I'm asking the Lord to help. Because these people, I already have problems with them in just those two houses back there. Just those two. <laughs> Imagine what it's going to be like when there's five more. <laughs> I mean... These back here behind us, they're from up north. They, I want to say they from Chicago. And they said they were coming back here. They're coming down, moving down here to get away from all the crime from up there. And I'm like, you know, that's fine. As long as y'all don't bring it down here. And guess what they did? Very first day, within two hours of being here. Guess what, guess what they did? Well, first off, they had their music thumping. The big thump, thump, thump. That's all you can hear. Go inside your house to get away from it. And you can't get away from it because your windows are rattling. And uh, this bush has just went crazy. Look, I got a monarch. Isn't that a monarch? I don't know. Go on, butterfly, before these cats gonna get you. You're too low to the ground. Go on. Go on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I've got these following me. That's Miss Frack. And this one right here, though. Miss KK? Boy, you tell me about a hunter. She gets everything around here. Okay, back to what I was saying. Sounds to me like they've been pounding over there on that house. Sounds to me like they're fixing to do that one too and rent that one out. I'll bet you a dime to a donut that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, Lord, give me strength. Y'all, I kid you not. It was so peaceful out here. It was so quiet. I mean, we're, you're in the country. Anyway, the very first day they were here, the thump, thump, thumping, and I'm like, okay, you know, it's okay. They're just unloading their furniture and stuff, you know, cut them some slack, 
Okay, y'all see how close that is over there? To my baby's barn right here? Yeah. And they were mad at me because they said I was, uh, uh, acted, uh, I was acting crazy or whatever. Said it wasn't that big of a deal. But, <laughs> yeah, and you see all this material and everything that could just easily went poof. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, so I was telling myself, cut them some slack. Cut them some slack. What you doing, Mr. Max? What's him doing, Mr. Max? Um... About 30 minutes later, I hear, I don't think whiskey's in here, I hear, uh, pow, 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 even a whole lot more than that. Oh, I jumped up and ran to look, and they were all out in the front, in their front yard. Let me go back over here and let me show you. So you can get the gist of it. So. Yeah, so they're, mind you, their property comes right up to uh, right there, which is where our property line is. So that's their four wheeler, their kids' four wheeler that they park right there. But anyway. Right there behind that truck is where they were at. And they were firing into um, the woods right there with an AR-15. Now, I'm sitting in my bedroom, which is right there at that window. And I jump up and look out to see what's going on. And that's when I figure, see that they're out there shooting. Whiskey, my horse is going crazy. And just about the time I get up to go out to stop it, they stop. So what I'm showing you through here, I don't know if it's not very clear right now, but I'm try to zoom in. You can get the gist of it. Down that road that I just showed you over there, that where the, it, it was supposed to go, or there is a house back there. So that means <laughs> when they were shooting through those woods with that AR-15, they were shooting right at that house, and they hit it several times. I think Lena was home. But anyway... I called the, uh, or I sent a message to the landlord, which just happens to be my husband's cousin, and said, hey look, we can't have this. And I explained to her what was going on, and she said, call the law. Well, I said, they've done stop now. And so, about that time, my husband called, and I was telling him, and I got out of my mouth what was going on, and um, it, they started firing again. And while I had my husband on the phone, I ran out of the house, <laughs> ran down to the uh, fence here to check on Whiskey, which she was going crazy, and then ran back over there and got to the end of my property and stopped and yelled at them to please stop. <laughs> I was like, would y'all please stop? Stormy K, youngest daughter, was killed in a car wreck. But, uh, I said, y'all driving, y'all uh, driving my horse crazy and just please stop well I didn't a bit more get that out of my mouth until my son come running past me faster than a speeding bullet and y'all he ran 
right up to the guy that had the AK, or the, uh, yeah, the AR-15. And so, of course, I had to take off running. My son has, is living with a TBI, traumatic brain injury. And so, I mean, he just, he don't have any control over things like that. And he got triggered. And so thankfully I was able to get it um, taken care of. My husband's got our Toyota parked right here because I'm, I'm going to have a flower bed, a tiered flower bed coming down right here. Stepping down to our garden. This is going to have more garden area. Anyway, um, we got it stopped, or I got it stopped, and they said, well, the landlord gave us permission to do it. I said, I don't care who gave you permission to do it. You can't be shooting that right out here in your front yard. I don't care. We're, yes, we're in the country. I said, now, we shoot our uh, rifles and shotguns and handguns and whatever else I mean because you know we're in the country but you don't, we don't shoot those there's a designated place for that kind of business not saying we don't have our own because we do we have the AR I mean the AK I get so confused we have the AK But, uh, we don't shoot them here. We have designated places for that. And, anyway, so, that's how it's been with our, just those two houses back there. <laughs> and when the, uh, when they first moved in, they moved in the one on the right over there. And all of them they, that I ran out there to, I want y'all to know they were dressed in black from head to toe. Now, I mean, I'm talking black shoes, black pants, black shirt, black hat, black hair. <laughs> and a lot of people say, Oh, that's goth. That's gothic. And I'm thinking, no. No. That's Antifa. What you talking about? I'm trying to see what my watermelon is doing yet. I'm going to ask Betsy this thing's taking forever. Ah, yes. I do believe it is. I'm going to have to come and pick it this evening. Look how ginormous that thing is. Anyway. I'm just my sunflowers here. I gotta harvest them too today. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, that's what. Oh, I don't know. It was. She said, "Well, they're not, they're not all gonna be there. That's just they're just helping out." That's all she said. They're just helping out. Look, I've got some. I planted some Anasazi beans. <laughs> Just out of, just giggles, you know, just doing something. I planted them right in, in inside my Alabama black eye llamas, which seem to be coming right along. Anyway, this one I've got my corn. Let me get down here and stand it back up. Oh my peas. Am I doing all right? I've got um, great northern beans growing and brown, I mean, and white beans growing. Brown and white, that's, you know, I call them brown and white. That's not brown beans and white beans. <laughs> sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Red potatoes are over there. I'm gonna get some more tomatoes off the vine today. What's they doing? 
pretty girl. What's her doing, pretty girl? Do you finally realize I had the gate open? Yeah. We planted all of these uh, cedar trees down through here. I mean, they weren't, but just a couple inches tall when we planted them a couple years ago. I think our peach tree has died. This is the second peach tree we put here. I don't like it for some reason. Anyway, what have we got over here? I've got, this is uh, black amber corn. You see the, I'm telling you, this is just all this to it. Next time I plant corn, as a matter of fact, I may just come back and do it this afternoon. I am staking, putting a stake on each end and, tie, and putting a, a string through it and tying it to the string so they'll stand up. Because, I mean, every day gun time we get a rain. It doesn't matter which direction we plant it. Either, either this direction or the way that corn up there is. It gets, gets knocked down. But I'll tell you what, I'm very pleased with my peas, y'all. These were all these rogue peas. I did not plant these. My Heavenly Father did. And just gave them to me. And I have had just, so far I've gotten six five gallon buckets off of this. And I am not done. Because as you can see, they are still producing. They're just still producing. I said, if we don't have nothing else, we're going to have some peas now. Now this was the old garden part got peas growing over there and I don't know if uh, I know in one of my other videos I showed the, uh, the watermelon that my horse planted <laughs> she got out one day and walked through here and had her a little uh, a little poop and then out of that we got us a watermelon plant so she's got one there and I do believe Yep, there's one here. Look at this. <laughs> Bless her. So, she's got her. She, she got to plant her something in the garden this year. Fat cat, are you still following me? He adopted us. He just showed up and has been here for now for about a year. He just showed up. Anyway, yeah, I still got peas going over here. Watermelon. And I am trying my best to get my husband to agree to move over to permaculture. I want to stop tilling this ground. I know you can, can you see where it's just, to me, this, it's going away. And every time he tills, it's just, we're losing ground. And I mean, because it is on the, it's on a slope. It's not a big slope, but it is a slope nonetheless. But I'm trying to go to permaculture. So what he has agreed to do for me is I'm going to put me a little, I don't know, from, from here over to all the way over and then back around just a section right here. To just do the the permaculture if you'll let me oh no not if you'll let me he said he said yes I could do it on this end um, and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that and I might even bring it up a little bit further on the hill here now that I'm thinking about it yeah like that would benefit me and him both especially him because he's the one that does all the heavy lifting the heavy work around here and he just had major surgery last year on his colon he had a, a colonostomy bag for about six to eight months and he finally got that removed 
system is back on track, but he's still not all together up to par, you know what I mean? Hi, baby. Hi, babies. What's the babies doing? What's the babies doing? What's the babies doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's my one rooster, the black one. I'm wondering if Hawkeye, the white one, is too, but I can't really tell yet. But we know for sure he is. This is, I call him Old Man Frank. That's Old Man Frank. That's my rooster. Yeah. Yeah. What y'all doing? What you doing, Hawkeye? What you doing, Hawkeye? Yeah. What's him do? Or her doing? I don't know. You sure are pretty. I, you sure are pretty. I really do think he is a rooster. But I don't see the the cone and stuff like old man up Frank has. So I don't know. I know when I first got these chickens, that's it. They told me um, white chickens lay white eggs. I want white chickens. Why do you want white chickens? Because they lay white eggs. That's what they. What's what my husband told me. Well, that's not true. <laughs> and then I was told that um, the little red speck in the egg yolk is what shows that the egg has been fertilized. That's the rooster's contribution. I was told. Well, you can't have that contribution if you don't have a rooster, correct? So how did my ladies, my four ladies that I started off with, have the red speck in their egg yolk? Nobody's been able to answer that. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that that's not the telltale sign. I'm going to say that's not the telltale sign. Well, all right. That's the tour for today. That cat has walked the entire trip with me. It's a beautiful day today. I know that. Beautiful day. <laughs> Look who's waiting on me. Look who's waiting on me. Ain't he just the most precious thing? <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs>